Salesforce OAuth Refresh Token Flow explained. Welcome to another episode of the Security Series. We're talking about the OAuth flows. And in previous conversations, we've talked about web server flow, where the web server can act on behalf of a user, um, get present them with the login stream, and get credentials so the web server can and an authorization token to act on behalf of them. Now, there are some user experiences where you want that to be maintained over time. You don't want the user to be represented with a login screen you know, every day. And so there is what's called the OAuth refresh token flow, where when the web server requests the authorization token, they can also get a second token called a refresh token. And that refresh token will enable the web server to query um, the auth server and get fresh authenticate authorization tokens once they expire. That way the user is not presented with a login screen um, multiple times over days. Now this is does require the client ID and the client secret being stored on the web server. And that is why for mobile device access, they're where we're elevating that to the web server flow with Pixie, PK, the Pixie flow, which we've talked about in another video. So today we're gonna to be focusing in on the web server flow using the refresh token. So in this OAuth flow summary, we're talking about um, the, ref the web server flow has the browser, the user is going to the web server, and then to act on behalf of a user, we're doing, we're presenting the Salesforce login screen to the user, and then um, being able to receive an access token. And if we look right here, this was a previous flow using the beer garden analogy, where we had the browser going to the burger house. The burger house is the third party web server and would redirect to the user to the login screen. And then the, us the user would approve the request, authenticate, and then this auth code would be, would be then exchanged for an access token. Now what's also in here is it can be enhanced to have the burger house get a refresh token. And the burger house would store that refresh token for that user securely. And then it could then represent the refresh token for a fresh um, access token after the session has expired. So here is the web server flow. We talked about 1A, request, browser, login, screen, auth code. And the key element is on step 4C, the, the access token and a refresh token could be presented. So what would happen is the web server would store the refresh token securely on its server and then be able to represent it. So what could happen is the web server would have the refresh token for that particular user stored securely. It could present it to the auth server and then get, and it has to present the client ID and the client secret, and then get back a fresh access token. Now, a key element of this flow is that the web server needs to be able to store that refresh token securely. Um, the refresh token can be revoked by the user. So now it, there you can set, typically access tokens have a valid duration in hours. Um, Refresh tokens can be set to days, weeks, or not to expire, but they can be revoked. And that way the refresh token is not good as an access token. It has to be exchanged for an access token. So the access token is what grants access. The refresh token allows the user to represent and get a fresh access token. Here's the reference materials, OAuth2 refresh token flow. And what's going to happen is you're going to po post to the LAuth endpoint with the client ID, the client secret, the grant type, the refresh token, and then it'll grant a new access token. So the refresh token flow is designed when you have a secure client that is accessing Salesforce and you want to minimize the friction with the user. You don't want the user where you need user involvement to be presented with a login screen, and you want to remove that friction across days or weeks. Um, you can still set the refresh token expiration 
So that way you can make sure that after some number of you know days or weeks, two weeks, that they are the user is forced to re-authenticate again. Now the web server client would need to um, be every time it makes a request testing to see if the access token expires. And if it does, it would catch that expiration error and then use the refresh token attempt to authenticate. Now, if that were to fail and be expired during the authentication, then it would then redirect the user back to the login screen. So this is a very useful flow for removing friction between the user, used for web servers, and also used for mobile devices if you're using it in the proper secure manner. Hope this was helpful. So we're staying fresh with the refresh token. Join us again on the Steve YouTube channel, Steve Tech Arc YouTube channel, same bad time, same bad channel. Make sure you subscribe and have a great day.